How's it going guys? This is Yesteryear here and today we are going to be talking about the next five potential Starfield DLCs. Now we only have information on the first one which is the Shattered Space DLC and so I'm going to be taking a guess at what that story is going to entail, where it's going to be located, and then after that I want to give you some ideas about what we could see for DLC in the future. These are different ideas that I've come up with and I'm pretty happy with uh, what, I've, what I've thought of and I hope you guys can share your ideas down below in the comments. Tell me what kind of stories, what kind of um, new gameplay features would you like to see in this game that you think would fit good into a DLC. Alright, let's take a look at my best guess for the Shattered Space DLC. So my best guess for the Shattered Space DLC is that we're going to be going to the Serpentis star system. And I think we're going to be learning more about why the Varun decided to um, isolate themselves from the rest of the settled systems. And I think we're going to be looking at why they started this great crusade where they just started killing innocent people. Um, I think we're going to be investigating some kind of ritual uh, where they're trying to make contact with the Great Serpent and I think we're gonna figure out more about what is the Great Serpent because we don't really know if it's a god or if it's, or if it's just some idea. I think there's gonna be a supernatural element to this DLC as you can see in the uh, trailers that we've seen so far and the DLC is gonna take place either on a planet or on all of the Serpentist star system. I'm not really sure about that one, but I know that we will venture to a Varun capital city and I'm sure there's going to be some sort of new companion that will favor the main character making more evil decisions and probably dislike helping others. So that will kind of fill a hole in the game right now where we have all these companions and <laughs> if you make any evil decision at all they're gonna judge you uh, for the rest of the game so I think I really think Bethesda will want to add a character or a companion like that and I think we're also gonna see a lot more Varun weapons than we have now we, we have like two different um, weapons in the game the star shard and the what is it the infiltrator or something like that we only have two of those those weapons and I think we're gonna see a lot more of them all right, now that we got the Shattered Space DLC out of the way, let's get into the juicy stuff. The next DLC that I've come up with is going to be focused around the Colony War. And this DLC, to experience it, you would have to go through the Unity and select a special option. It would not be random. You would have to select this special option and you would enter a reality where the Colony War never ended. Okay, and you would be stuck in this reality until you entered through the unity again. The colony war was a war that lasted a few years between the United Colonies, the UC, and the Free Star Collective. And we would see this war continue on. We'd get to experience um, battles between both of them and we get to choose a side during the story so at first you would act as a uh, you would act as a neutral party in the middle until you were forced to make a decision between the UC or the Free Star Collective and at the end of this long journey where we'd have tons of space battles and ground combat and alien warfare and weaponized mechs it would it would be so cool at the end of this journey you would decide whether the UC wins the war or the Free Star Collective wins the war or you somehow end the war through a treaty I think one of the fun parts of this DLC would be exploring the galaxy and seeing these differences between the regular reality and this new colony war reality I think we would see some cities that were never destroyed and I think we, although it wouldn't be completely different, I think we'd see some changes in New Atlantis and Aquila City and even Neon. And I think it would be a lot of fun 
just to learn more about this world. What would happen if the war never ended? I think with this DLC, we'd get to know a little bit more about uh, the UC and the Freestar Collective, kind of dive deeper into what they care about, what's important to them, and I think we're going to see a lot of returning characters from the faction um, stories, like... Ve Victus and the, I can't remember his name, but the deputy from the Freestar Collective. I think we're going to see all kinds of returning characters, even the Red Devils or, you know, the free, more Freestar Rangers or even the, um, what are they called? The first uh, from the Freestar Collective quest line where they, I don't know, they pilot mechs or something. I didn't understand what was going on in that story, but I think that's why it would be great to have this story where we dive deep into both of the factions. Now, my only concern for this idea is that some people are not willing to go through the unity, and I can understand that because they have their world that they love, but I think I think Bethesda wants to encourage people to let go and move on and and I think you just can't really do this story without going to an alternate reality. But I think it would be such a cool idea. I'm sure Bethesda could figure out a way to implement this. The other concern is that once you've finished this reality and maybe want to go back to the regular reality, is that you won't really take anything with you. But I think it would be cool that if you, let's say, you ended the war and you were sided with the free free star collective maybe you would learn how to create a mech and that in the next universe you could make your own mech and actually even though it's illegal <laughs> and use it <laughs> in that reality or maybe you side with the uc and you figure out how to um, make aliens your pet or your weapon right and you're able to do that in uh, bring that ability to the next reality. I think that would be a cool way to say like, okay, I finished the story with the Freestar, I finished the story with the UC, and bring on uh, different abilities into the next uh, new, ga new Game Plus. Okay guys, I am really excited about this next idea because we have information that Bethesda had trademarked the name Starborn. And I had actually written this idea before that, so uh, let's look at um, this new Starborn DLC. This DLC will be based around the Starborn teaming up to find out more about the Unity and the creators. Now the Starborn have always been very intriguing, and I love the idea that the Emissary is able to convince some of them to team up to stop other Starborn from collecting the artifacts. The Hunter is all about just don't care about anyone else, the only goal is the artifacts. Well, why can't the Starborn focus on meeting some kind of goal together? Why don't they get to know each other more? Why don't they figure out what's going on? Why do they get a ship when they enter the Unity? Why do they get this cool um, outfit or, or armor? So in this DLC, you'd meet plenty of interesting Starborn characters. You'd actually get to know them a bit more rather than kind of what we have in the base game. And you'd work towards uncovering the mystery of the universe. Who made the Unity? Why does, why does it make them become Starborn? And the DLC will feature Starborn companions, new Starborn powers, and a plethora of new weapons. You'll be able to make a settlement that will act as a starborn base of operations so as you meet all these starborn you kind of get them to join your team and uh, everybody wants to know the mystery so they can either be on your ship or they can be on your base of operations and you would carry out different missions from there there would be other Starborn that would seek to stop you from carrying out your mission for whatever reason. They want to stop you from progressing further, whether it's a companion that you thought was trustworthy, or it could be this completely unknown Starborn that's mission is to, is to stop you, kind of like the Emissary. 
there would be a theme about discovering identity during this DLC and a theme about the Starborn creating a community and culture for themselves because currently they're not organized people and they don't even share a common culture except for the fact that they are all tracking down this artifact. So what if in this story we had them you know, it's the origin of their culture, of their identity, who people as a collective. And I don't think there's many games that explore this topic. This is essentially the origin story of entire civilization or culture who just like got thrown in the middle of this galaxy without being told who they are and why. It's so interesting to me, and I think Bethesda could have such an amazing story if they dive into this. And again, these people, they, they share a common path, and they share a common origin, but they spend most of their time fighting aimlessly for a goal that they don't fully understand. And in this DLC, I think there's going to be a focus on exploring the outer reaches of the galaxy, because... Right now, we're always on the left side of the map, and there's not really much that's located in the higher levels of the the higher di the different star systems that are level 60, 70, 75. There's nothing really out there. So if we kind of have the DLC focus more on that area and have it be a higher level DLC, I think that would be very interesting. I think because the unity is so important to the Starborn's identity, I think it would be really cool if the ending of this DLC could play out differently each time you entered the unity. I think it would be really cool to have a feature that allowed the player to carry over new perks between unity jumps. I think it's really important to carry stuff over. Uh, to the new unity because you're paying for this DLC and if you just like leave all that stuff behind Then it's not really feel like you're getting anything out of it So having these perks that you could get when you enter the unity It would just make you more and more powerful as you're going through the unity more and more and these would be major perks and it would only feature a single perk each time you jump to the unity. Maybe there'd be a total of five, but they'd be extremely powerful, extremely useful, and maybe uncover more of, you know, who the Starborn are or what where their powers come from. Okay, so it gets even more exciting when we take a look at the next DLC, which will flip the whole game on its head. This DLC is going to be about aliens and it will be a two-part series so let's talk about the first part of the series first which will be featured uh, where which will be set in the known universe in the settled systems and it will focus on an intergalactic alien threat that seeks to destroy humans and the settled systems maybe these aliens had been watching the humans for a long time or they know a little bit about human history and they for some reason want to destroy them and this dlc will focus on bringing together the three human colonies under one common goal protecting their home and uncovering the mystery of why this new alien threat seeks to destroy them this will be a very important DLC, as I said, it will shake up the current NASA punk realistic aesthetic of the game and shift it more to a space opera feel. I think there's a large majority of people that are a little bit disappointed with the realism of the current aesthetic in Starfield. I personally love it. But I think people want to see more Star Wars, a more Star Wars approach. A bigger story spanning across the galaxy. And you will encounter this alien race many times throughout the DLC. And it will be the first time in Starfield's history in the game that humans have ever encountered intelligent and sentient life. Apart from the Starborn, but this is, these are real aliens. These are not humans. And... Just like how space travel was so important in the history of Starfield, this is like a, a key event in the history, and you get to be a part of it. You get to protect your home um, galaxy. 
And so this DLC will focus on fighting this new race, and there will be opportunities, there will be opportunities to meet peaceful aliens as well, who wish to end the violence, and this will be woven into the story. Towards the end of the DLC, you will make peace with this alien race, and you'll be able to push back those aliens who wish to end humanity. Okay, and this story is going to be all over the place, all over the map. You're going to be visiting all kinds of planets, and I think it would be cool if they expanded on the, the current uh, POIs in the game. So that's point, points of interest. They added all kinds more POIs, all kinds of more interesting stuff that you could see on planets. This is where they might kind of overhaul the game and tackle... The part of Starfield that people don't like, which is planet exploration. Not only will they fix this feature, but they'll also integrate, um, like actually flying around in space and actually landing on planets. I think it is possible, and I know that Bethesda knows that this is so important to people because they always compare this to No Man's Sky. Now, it's not going to be as impressive as no man's sky but they will be able to make it feel like a space exploration game rather than a loading screen game <laughs> but i think i think this dlc would be a lot of fun and this is only part one of this alien series so i want to talk about the next part with you guys and just let me know what you think of this one because this is like a really cool idea Okay guys, I'm getting really friggin' giddy because I'm super <laughs> excited about this two-part series. And this second part of the series is going to blow your frickin' mind, okay? It's... It's so cool. I just love it. And this deal... We're gonna be invited to explore a totally undiscovered part of the galaxy and universe. Okay, this is a new map. Not this is not part of the settled systems. This is a new map with new star systems. Okay, and this is where you know all of the aliens have been. Why we haven't seen any of them, and it will introduce hundreds of new planets to the game. So at the end of the last DLC, there's going to be um, aliens that were peaceful towards you, and they'd be you know scattered in the settled systems at the end of that DLC but in this DLC they will invite you to participate in some sort of grand ceremony in their capital city okay so you're being invited to this new galaxy and each of the new human colonies will be invited and you'll also see these human colonies like the Free Star Collective, the UC and the Varun you will see them uh, throughout this map. So if you're exploring different planets and stuff, you might run into them. So you get invited to this grand ceremony. And while most of the aliens are delighted to welcome the human race to their home and think that this is part of a new beginning, a new um, alliance, there's also many, including the major threat from the last expansion, who do not see the humans as an intelligent race and they want to get rid of them. So as you're at this ceremony, this major threat from the last expansion comes and blows the whole place up and kind of makes this big scene, right? And so the peaceful aliens are like, you got to take these guys out. Like, you know, they're not, they're not about peace and we want peace we want to invite you guys right so that would kind of be the story and it is similar to the last one but this is more grand and you're going to be visiting planets that we have not seen in starfield so far there's going to be new variations to planets and similar to maybe no man's sky they'll be more alien because all the planets we've seen so far they haven't been like you know, they haven't been super weird. They've been very realistic, but I'm talking super weird for this DLC. And maybe they'd be able to revamp um, world exploration a little differently, a little... Maybe they can expand on um, the revamp from the last DLC. And in this DLC, there's going to be even more alien weapons, alien ships, plenty of alien settlements. It's going to be alien focused and it's going to be so freaking cool. And 
I think people are going to start to love that Starfield has so many planets, that it has so much variety. And by then, or by this time, I think we'll see a lot of mods in the game. And people will just be filling this game out. And I think the perception about Starfield would change. I think people would be excited to play it. Like, maybe like how Fallout 4 wasn't that popular back in the day. But nowadays people look on it and say that was a great game. And I hope that these DLCs will lead Starfield to that future as well. Alright guys, that wraps it up for my ideas about potential Starfield DLC. I want to know in the comments what you think of my ideas and I want you guys to give me your own ideas, okay? Get creative. Don't just think of one feature, but think of a whole story. What could it be based around? And, and also, what kind of features would be added in these DLCs? I'm really excited about the future of Starfield. I think there's so much potential. And people really haven't dove into the game yet. They think it sucks, but it does not suck. There is so much fun to be had. And I hope these DLCs push the game forward. So please like the video, subscribe, comment down below, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. See you later.